Hi, I'm Susan Duckin. I'm a professor of animal science at Clemson University. Our research integrates ruminant nutrition and meat science to try to make a better tasting and healthier meat product. What we've shown in our research so far is that the steaks are similar in tenderness to those that are finished on grain and for the most part flavor is not affected. We think we can produce a very palatable product with grass finishing so that you don't have to sacrifice taste and flavor in order to get a better nutritional composition of the steak. The benefits of eating grass-fed beef to the consumer would be that they're getting a leaner product. What makes it better is that the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is less than 2 to 1 and currently health professionals are recommending that our diets should be more balanced in these two types of fatty acids and the closer that we are to 1 to 1 is beneficial for our health. Grain prices continue to escalate with the use of corn for ethanol and other sources, and especially in the southeast, by the time we have to pay for corn, we just can't afford to feed it to these animals. But the south can grow forage all day long, and if we get the right amount of rain, we can grow almost 12 months of the year. And so it's a real opportunity, I think, for our southeastern beef producers to be able to put these cattle out on pasture and produce a product that consumers are demanding today. For those consumers who are really interested in locally raised products and products with some enhanced nutritional characteristics, I'd recommend grass-fed beef because of its leanness and its high concentrations of some positive fatty acids that we know are beneficial for human health.